Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. We are going to be kicking off my whole best of 2021 series. I plan to have a lot of videos up through the month of December. A lot of them are going to be best of, but a lot of them are just going to be regular beauty content. So I'm really, really excited to start December. Um, so let's just get into today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the very best face palettes of 2021, ranking all of the palettes that I tried. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's get into it. All right, guys, so I tried five face palettes this year. I thought there would be a lot more than that, but at the same time, five is kind of a lot. So let's just get into it. So coming in at number five, we have the Nudegasm Face Palette from Charlotte Tilbury. So this palette, packaging-wise, absolutely gorgeous. Formula-wise, I also think it's quite beautiful. The problem with this is that this is the only one she released. She didn't release um, any of these for deeper skin tones. It was literally only this one. So while I really enjoy this, this is a nice contour, but it is very, very light. It is a perfect contour shade for me. It takes a minute to get more pigment on this one. That's okay. That's okay. I would rather be a more sheer formula and have to build it up. This one is too deep on me as a bronzer. If I go in with a really light hand, I can make it work. This highlight, absolutely stunning. And this one is beautiful as a blush topper. So if you're definitely a fair to light skin tone, you can definitely make this work. The formula is beautiful. You're really going to like the look that you create. It gives you that really natural beauty, but just, it's just overall a very beautiful palette. It's very beautiful to use. The only reason it's ranking at the bottom is simply because I have palettes that are just better and uh, they have better range. So it's the only reason why this one is last, but I do think this is a beautiful option. All right, coming in at number four is actually a drugstore option. And this one, I believe, was actually released last year, but it wasn't available in Canada until this year. So this is the Physician's Formula All-Star Palette. So this palette comes with their traditional butter bronzer, their matte bronzer. Yep, yeah, their matte butter bronzer, which was also a new formula. It comes with two highlighters, a blush, and what's this called? A multicolored pressed powder. So I believe they also only released the one palette. The butter bronzer, beautiful. This is a little bit deeper than my typical shade of the butter bronzer, but it still works very well for me, and I really, really love it. This um, matte bronzer, too deep for me, and it's too warm. Uh, it turns me into a Cheeto really, really quickly, so I need to mix it with this one if I want to use this, which is fine. This highlighter, this shade's a bit too deep for my skin. This is an overspray, which I really don't like. Uh, I just find it very misleading, but if you do get past it, it is a really pretty highlight. The Happy Booster Blush has been around for years and years, but it is such a pretty everyday blush. I really, really enjoy that blush. And this powder really surprised me. I really, really enjoyed the powder. I think it does a great job setting everything down. And I think it, what it's supposed to do is just kind of even everything out. And it really does. It's a really, really nice powder. And I think it's very underrated, if I'm being completely honest. So overall, I really enjoyed this palette. It lives on my desk. I really enjoy it. So the All Star palette is coming in at number four. Okay, coming in at number three is a very recent purchase, but one that I've really been enjoying, and this is from Pat McGrath. This is the Divine Blush and Glow Trio in Galactic Sun. So this has two blushes and a highlighter. So she just released her blush formula this year. So I was really excited to see that she put them in a palette for the holidays. There is Divine Rose, um, Desert Orchid, and Golden Nectar. So Divine Rose is a beautiful pinky mauve blush. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. Desert Orchid surprised me. I don't typically go for those peachier kind of blush shades. I definitely prefer a more pinky blush, but Desert Orchid is 
gorgeous. There is something about that shade that is so flattering and it goes with every look. It's just mind boggling. I love, love, love Desert Orchid. Golden Nectar is really nice, but I do find it to be a very blingy highlight and it gets blinding very, very quickly. And that's just not what I typically go for. It's very, very smooth. It's not my favorite highlighter in my collection, but I do think it's beautiful. But these blushes, I, I can't get enough. Coming in at number two, one and two were very hard for me to decide overall because I loved the both of them so much, but I'll explain why in a moment. So coming in at number two is the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette, and this is the light palette. So I didn't bother picking up the, the um, dark one. I am very fair, so that would just not, I just wouldn't use those tones, but in here you get five neutral eyeshadows, you get a cream blush, and you get a highlighter. So the highlighter in here is very blinding. It is very glittery. It's, it's a very beautiful highlight, but it can become very blinding very quickly. So just know to be careful with it if you're not really into that. This cream blush though, I'm not always the biggest cream blush fan. There are some that I really, really enjoy, but overall I just default to powder. This blush though is so pretty. It looks so natural. It looks, I use it with a sponge. That's my favorite way to apply it. And it just gives the most beautiful blushed from within kind of look. It is so flattering, so beautiful. You do get quite a bit of pigment once you kind of bust through that initial first layer. Um, so just so that when you get it brand new, once you get that top layer off, you will get a lot more pigment. So don't be discouraged if you're really not picking up a lot. I do think it's still a very beautiful formula. It's very blendable. So, so, so nice. These shadows though, I love them. They are neutral, but what makes the, what makes these special is particularly the transition shade is what I love so much. It's a neutral light brown transition, but it's got a rosiness to it that is just so flattering. I absolutely love it. So this has got to be my favorite transition shade. I've actually just worn this in the crease and called it a day and I loved it. The crease shade, beautiful. The smoke shade, also beautiful. These two glitter shades, gorgeous. I will say with the glitters, you do get a bit of fallout. So you do want to, I shouldn't say glitters, they're shimmers, but you will get a little bit of fallout with them. So just know that but otherwise this palette is so beautiful. I love this so much. The formula is perfect. It is her typical, what you would expect from Natasha Denona, just absolutely amazing formula. And it's so beautiful and so versatile and it will be so great to travel with or whatever you're doing. It's just such a great palette. I can't express enough how much I love this one. So this one was really hard to put at number two but I really, really love this. All right, now we're going to a palette that I tried out all the way back in May. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look of Love in a Palette in Pretty Blushed Beauty. I have talked about this so many times this year, it's almost embarrassing, but it's my favorite palette of the year. So I believe somebody actually asked me in my Glam Face Palette review if I like it more than I like this one. And that's what got me thinking. It actually kind of prepared me for this video. So thank you so much. This, this is my number one because while the Glam Face Palette is stunning, you can do more with this because you get the eyeshadows, but you also get a bronzer and you get a setting powder in this one. And that's what really completes it for me. This is really a full face right here. Um, so with the Glam Palette, I'm probably still gonna reach for a powder. I'm still gonna reach for a bronze here. You don't have to, they're so gorgeous. Yes, you're very, very limited to the eyeshadow looks you can create, but you are with the Natasha Denona as well. But you can do a lot more and I really prefer the highlight in here. This highlight, it's from her Film Star Bronze and Glow and it is such a beautiful everyday highlight. I love it so much. I love the way it kind of melts into the skin and you still get that highlight, but you don't get that stripe. You don't get anything like that. It just looks really natural and very beautiful. Maybe not natural, but it just looks very, very beautiful and healthy and it just makes you look so, so good. I do think these palettes are, they're expensive for what they are. A lot of what 
what Charlotte Tilbury releases is incredibly expensive. The Glam palette is definitely much more affordable, so just know that. But if I have to pick between the two, I definitely pick this one. I love this one. This is my most reached for this year, without a doubt, no comparisons. This has just been an absolute favorite of mine this year. This is an absolute favorite product of mine. It's getting really cloudy out and I'm losing light, but this has just been a favorite of mine. I love it so much and I can't say enough. That is it. So that is my face palette ranking for 2021. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, did you guys try out any of these palettes? Are you a fan? Are you intrigued by any of them? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. And that's it for me today. Thank you again so very much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!